students santosh here and today i am going to deliver the lecture on water supply engineering part 3.6 on distribution of water the distribution of water is much more important type topic as far as mpsc and other competitive examinations are concerned so let us start our lecture on distribution of water but before starting that lecture i will appreciate all the subscribers who subscribed my channel and also requesting other people to subscribe my channel for getting more and more details in civil engineering with simple and effective manner so let us start the lecture what is the distribution of water the water distribution system are ordinarily designed to adequately satisfy the water requirement for the combination of domestic commercial industrial and fire fighting purposes so the distribution of water is in such a manner that it will satisfy the all requirement of human being the performance of distribution system can be judged on the basis of pressure available in the system for specific rate of flow so specific rate of flow and pressure in the pipeline or pressure of water in the pipeline is much important the distribution system consisting of network of pipes with appurtenances for transporting water from purification plant to the consumer tap then it also includes the design and operation of storage service and balancing reservoirs so <coughs> these are the requirements of the water distribution system or distribution of the water so we can study in depth requirement of good distribution system but <coughs> before studying that requirements of good distribution system i want to tell you a one story when we people are going to play cricket every player wants batting and bowling but nobody is interested in the fielding or <coughs> bringing the ball from the boundaries so the distribution system and cricket team has one similar thing everybody has to get his importance if everybody everybody means if men if sub means if branches and small <coughs> connections are performing their functions then it will be the good good distribution system and with minimum losses in cricket <coughs> it applies in the same manner if every batsman every bowler and every fielder performs well then that team must be a good cricket team so let us study the first requirement the system should be capable of supplying water at consumer tap at reasonable pressure head also the head should not be excessive means it should be optimum optimum head must be there for the distribution system it should be capable of meeting the fire demand simultaneously so it should meet the fire demand it should maintain the degree of purity the distribution system should be completely water tight but <coughs> it is ideal distribution system there are too many losses in solapur water distribution system the losses are so much as 30% it should be easy to operate and maintain water should be available even during the breakdown so there must be a requirement of breakdown and other reservoirs it should be so laid that during repairs it does not cause distribution or destruction or obstruction to the traffic the initial cost of distribution should be as low as possible like that in marathi we say that gai pandri paije gai thengni paije gai subak paije गाय चारा न खाणारी पाहिजे गाय लाथा न घालणारी पाहिजे पण गाय भरपूर दूध देणारी पाहिजे पण अशी गाय फक्त इमॅजिनरी असते किंवा 
अशा गायीची फक्त आपण कल्पना करू शकता अस्तित्वात अशी गाय उपलब्ध होणे थोडेफार अशक्य असते दन वी आर गोईंग टू स्टडी द मेथड्स ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्युशन द मेथड ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्युशन डिपेंड्स अपॉन द टॉपोग्राफी ऑफ द एरिया देन लोकेशन ऑफ दॅट वॉटर सप्लाय ऑल्सो द फॉलोइंग मेथड्स और सिस्टीम्स मे बी एडॉप्टेड फॉर डिस्ट्रीब्युशन फर्स्ट इज द ग्रॅव्हिटी सिस्टीम सेकंड इज द कंबाईंड ग्रॅव्हिटी अँड पंपिंग सिस्टीम अँड थर्ड इज द पंपिंग सिस्टीम सो थ्री सिस्टीम्स आर देअर ग्रॅव्हिटी सिस्टीम सेकंड पंपिंग सिस्टीम अँड थर्ड कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ दॅट इज ग्रॅव्हिटी अँड पंपिंग हाय विल टेल वन जोक रिगार्डिंग दॅट वन माय फ्रेंड ड्युरिंग आवर ट्रेनिंग ॲट नाशिक गिव्स थ्री टॉपिक फॉर द सिलेक्शन of a <coughs> project or a seminar the first topic is just like that gravity system second top- topic is pumping system and third is combination of both and the combination of both gets selected and he written on the project notebook or head of the uh, head of that project that combination of the both and he uh, didn't return the gravity system as well as pumping system such a jokes are there during our training and du- during our engineering period first we are going to study the gravity system please look at this figure the distribution reservoir is located at the higher attitude and the distribution area is located at the lower attitude you must know <coughs> where is the static head line where is the minimum draft and where is the maximum draft and that height is called as hf and below that the height is available that is effective that is he so you must note that effective head and what is the head loss due to friction the l- static head line and maximum draft <coughs> the distance between that is the head loss due to friction and <coughs> remaining length is the effective head in the gravity system the source of water supply is so located with respect to the area of distribution that water is available with sufficient pressure at various points of the area no pumping is normally required but sometimes pumping is required to pump the water from that reservoir or river to the distribution reservoir the purified water then flows entirely due under gravity this is the most reliable and economical distribution system so gravity system is the best system then second is the combination of gravity and pumping system this is the most common system adopted in most of the cases generally the water purification work are located at the same level at that of area of <coughs> distribution especially when the source of raw water supply is a river or a reservoir formed behind a dam in order to obtain sufficient distribution pressure filtered water is pumped into a clear reservoir that is cwr clear water reservoir located either on the higher ground or elevated on a tower the water from the elevated reservoir then flows under the gravity so please look at this figure the water is pumped from the pump house to the high level or high height clear water reservoir and you must know that is the static head line this this is the static head line this is the minimum draft this is the maximum draft that esr is located at higher level the distribution area is again at lower level and this height is called as a effective height and this is the height or head loss due to friction so you must study all the figures in depth then third system is the pumping system in this system water is pumped directly into the distribution system to achieve the required pressure <coughs> we will study that figure later on such a system is not desirable generally double pumping is required first pumping is from the reservoir to the uh, storage tank and second pumping from the storage tank to the distribution system the pump have to be run at varying speeds according to variations in the consumption 
in the case of power failure the entire water distribution system of localities get disturbed because of that pumping the system also requires constant attendance means constant supervision is required so please look at this figure the source is here the water is pumped from source to that <coughs> water distribution system and it is again pumped to the distribution system and this is the pressure head required for that distribution system and it is again divided into two categories first is the head loss due to friction and second is this if this one is the effective head so you must study all these figures in depth to get the ideas cleared in civil engineering or water distribution system then we are going to study the <coughs> pressure criteria in the distribution of water adequate pressure should be available in the distribution system at all points located even in the remote remote spots or remote test post mean longest spot which is located in a remote area the desired pressure depend upon the following the height to which water is required to be supplied second is the fire fighting requirements third whether its supply is metered or not that is also important and availability of the funds that is most common point in all systems the following pressures are considered as a satisfactory in distribution system for residential district up to 3 stories the pressure required is 2 kg per cm2 for water for 3 to 6 story heights it is 2 to 4 kg per cm2 for 6 to 10 story heights it is 4 to 5.5 kg per cm2 and above 10 story that is 5.5 to 7 kg per cm2 and for commercial districts it is 5 kg per cm2 in the town with single storied building a minimum 6 meter of residential pressure should be available a pressure of 1.5 kg per cm2 is considered satisfactory under most of the condition where fire engines are used a minimum velocity of 0.6 meter per second should be maintained for that water to maintain that required pressure then we are going to study the systems of water supply what are the different systems of water supply you know that first is the continuous system and second is the intermittent system the continuous system is available in pune and pune or mumbai city in maharashtra however intermittent system is there in solapur and other district where water scarcity is there so what is the continuous system in continuous system water is available to the consumers for all 24 by 7 or 24 hours of a day no doubt this is the best system since water is available as and when it is required or needed but this leads to the wastage if there are some minor leakages etc in the system the great volume of wa water is wasted because of long duration of flow in this system the water is not stagnant in the pipe at any instance hence the fresh water is always available in the continuous system so every system has its own advantages and disadvantages then intermittent supply in this system the water is supplied to the consumers only during some fixed hours of a day or say 2 to 4 hours but in sholapur it is supplied after 4 or 5 days in the morning and 2 to 4 hours in the evening so in the evening the question does not arise in sholapur it is supplied once early in the morning this is the most common system adopted in india this method is adopted when either sufficient pressure is available or when sufficient quantity sufficient pressure is not available or sufficient quantity of water is not available in such a circumstances we can go to intermittent system under these conditions various distribution zones of a city are supplied by water by turn turn by turn the normal supply timings may be between 6 am to 8 am or 10 am and 4 pm to 8 pm though these timings may be changed to suit the climatic or seasonal conditions 
we studied in hydraulics also the pipes in series and pipe in parallel what are the pipes uh, pipes in series when the pipes of different diameter are connected in series the total head loss is equal to summation of individual head losses in the different pipes such an arrangement is quite common since draw off usually takes place along the length of the servicemen necessitating the decrease in the diameter as the discharge decreases in addition to frictional head loss the minor losses in bends walls gates contraction and expansion contraction and expa expansion are also comes into play and if the length of pipe is short then these minor losses may quite significant in comparison to the frictional losses so minor losses become major if the length of pipe is short pipes in parallel laying of pipes in parallel may be necessary due to following reasons to increase the capacity of the line to facilitate the repairs without closing the complete supply to use smaller diameter pipes by laying them in a parallel if one single large diameter pipe is not available when the single large diameter pipe is not available it is divided into two different diameters and pipes are laid in parallel when the pipes are laid in parallel the head loss through each pipe will be the same and total discharge q will be equal to sum of discharge in each pipes mean in this case q is equal to q1 plus q2 and if the pipes are laid in the series in such a fashion different diam this is the pipeline in series and this is pipeline laid in parallel okay <coughs> so you must <coughs> get adequate with pipes in series and pipes in parallel then layout of distribution system that is very important may basically there are three different layouts of distribution system and we are going to study the first layout that is dead end system or a tree system the tree name itself indicates it is a tree type in this system one main pipeline runs through the center of the this is the main pipeline which runs to the center of the populated area and submains take off from this to the both sides these are the submains these submains are taken from the main pipeline and then submains are divided into the several branch lines these submains are divided into the several branch lines thus the entire and that branch line is get connected to service connection so this is the main these are the branches these are the sub mains and these are the service connections so you must know all these type of connection there are no cross connections between the branches and sub mains due to several dead end there is accumulation of sediment there and stagnation of the water because of these dead ends there is a stagnation of water however the flow rate in each pipe is easily known due to which the pipe diameter can be easily found out that is very important so please look at this figure sm means first of all you must know that this is the main then sm means this is the sub main this is sm then sc means service connection these are the scs this is uh, this is sc 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 means service connection and cv cv means cut off wall cut off walls are provided at the junction of main and sub main so you must know the location of cut off wall also then second system is the grid iron system or reticulation system or it is also called as a interlaced system also if the dead end of the previous systems are interconnected the water can be made to circulate continuously through the whole distribution system means there is nothing there these ends are not dead the water is running continuously so such a system is called as a grid iron or reticulation or interlaced system the main supply pipeline 
through the center of rectangular area and submins take off from this in perpendicular direction. The branch lines interconnect all the submins. The system is ideal for the cities laid down or layout of the city in rectangular plan and it resembling a grid iron. So, please look at this figure. <coughs> this is the main running in the center of the rectangular area. These are the sub mains. So, mains and sub mains, these are the cut off walls. From the sub mains, these are the branches. So, it is the rectangular system. This is also a branch. This is also a branch. So, you must know where the location of main, where is the location of sub main, where is the location of cut off wall, and where is the location of sub main. Okay. Then we are going to study the circular or ring system. In this system, the supply main forms a ring around a distribution district as shown in figure. So, at the along the length and breadth of that rectangular, mains are running. So, <coughs> this system is called as a circular or ring system. The branches are connected crosswise to the main and also to the well-planned streets and roads. The system possesses the same advantages and disadvantages as that of grid iron system. However, in case of fire, a large quantity of water is available in this system. Also, the length of distribution main is larger. So, these are the mains and these are the sub mains. Okay. Then, a radial system. A radial system is just reverse of that circular or ring system. In this system, the whole area is divided into number of distribution districts. So, this rectangle is one distribution district, this is second, this is third and this is the fourth. Each district has centrally located distribution reservoir which is elevated from where distribution of pipes run radially towards the periphery of the district as shown in figure. So, in the radial way, <coughs> the distribution pipes are running. The system gives quick service without much loss of head and design calculations are also simple. So, this system is called as a radial system. So, in conclusion, we studied what is the distribution system. We also studied what are the requirements of distribution system. We studied method of distribution system and <coughs> we also studied this different systems of distribution and pipes in parallel, pipes in series, systems of water supply, we studied the intermittent water supply, we studied the continuous water supply. All these chapters are very important as far as examination is concerned and the layout of distribution system is much more important than that of other topics. So, you must know the dead end or tree system, you must know the uh, grid iron or rect recticulation or interlaced system, you must know the circular or ring system and you must know the radial system. So, this is enough for this lecture and we are going to deliver the last lecture on water supply engineering regarding a rural water supply scheme. So, I am thankful to all of those students who subscribe my channel and listen this lecture calmly and quietly and have a nice year ahead that is 2023 and <coughs> have a nice year end of 2022. Thanking you and again <coughs> asking you to subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed that. Okay, bye bye.